Uh, hi and welcome to Tykes TV, Neil, and I've also got Chris. Chris, ready? Uh, welcome on, mate. Hey, up, Neil. How are you? Thank you very much for having me. It's uh, it's nice to be on. It's nice to um, not be in the driving seat and just like <laughs> sit back. I've not done any research, not done any reading or anything. I've not had time this year really to do anything. So it's lovely to be asked to come on and talk about Barnsley because I'm as passionate as ever, Neil, uh, just like yourself. Cool. So. Appreciate that. So, yeah, some... Uh, big news in the last couple of, you know, well, last 48 hours, really. Obviously, Conway and Lee have been uh, removed from a position at club. And uh, Gene Crine, James, Nareev, um do you think it's going to be a positive? Looking on social media, there's a lot of, like, there's a, there's a lot of positive that Conway and Lee have gone, but there's also a bit of uncertainty here in what direction the club's going to go in. So, are, are you happy, Chris? What's your take on that, mate? I think short term, it's, it seems to be positive, doesn't it? Because mm. it's had a desired impact on positivity uh, on social media. I don't do anything uh, in terms of like Facebook and stuff. I'm on Twitter quite a lot. Mm. Uh, it's an incredibly negative place to be, or it has been for the past four, five, six weeks. Yeah. Uh, but there's been like a, a knee-jerk reaction that's been positive. So that's been nice. So, you know, hopefully that'll continue. And hopefully long term, it'll be, it'll be, it'll keep up and, you know, more, I don't know, decisions that fans may agree on uh, may happen more often. Um, mm. I'm not one for wanting answers all the time anyway. I think um, supports just have done a great job of asking the right questions at the right time. Um, I'm not I'm not fussed about this front-facing stuff. I know a lot of people like all the answers on them there and then. I'd rather be concentrating on getting a new manager, Neil, if I'm honest, and yeah. making sure that appointment's right. But uh, short-term, it's please people, hopefully season tickets. Uh, numbers all go up because I want that ground as full as we can get. I want as many people in there, don't we? You know, I want a want a cauldron at Oakwell next season. That season we had in League One before, we you know we, oh, we just yeah. won at Oakwell, you know, or we didn't lose anyway. And that was certainty, wasn't it? That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Yeah. That That's <laughs> what you want, isn't it? Get but, but, get them kind of feelings back because obviously with COVID and back, you know, we won't be able to go. And then this season it's been a bit of a down, and it? it's you know things aren't gone on and off pitch, and I think it's affected. And like I said, we're wanting like you know all well to be buzzing again, back good vibe again, isn't it? It's trying to get it back. And I, 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 I'm looking at it with Gene, uh, Gene crying. I mean, obviously, if it's going to be crying uh, legacy and connection via, they understand what it means to fans as well. And like I said, there's been a bit of an upsurge in the positiveness. Um, I'm hoping that, like you've just a good point. What you've said on via is that want to get a manager in, and I'm hoping we next few week. You know, we could see some kind of managing before, you know, pre-season, Chris. Oh, without a doubt. And I would imagine that's that's the aim, isn't it? Uh, to get mm -hmm. that stability in as quickly as possible. To get to know the players, you know, what we're going to be looking like at start of season. Mm -hmm. Obviously, manager don't really have dealings, uh, ins and outs. Um, and I will imagine there'll be a few outs. And for that reason, there'll have to be a few ins. Mm -hmm. uh, but the, the manager just wants to get to grip with, you know, the team, what it's going to look like. Um Obviously, we've had the news that Martin and Tom Arben don't look like they're going to be returning to their role. So that's the little bit of news we've got. So it'd be uh, intriguing to see what, what that'll look like. But I would imagine that process has begun, you know, a mm. long time ago, two, three weeks ago, four weeks ago. However, you know, that it's a thorough process according to um, CEO, which yeah. I, don't, I don't doubt him for a minute. Um, so I would imagine they're probably two, three, four rounds into that already. And I would imagine they've, they've crossed a few in and crossed a few out and mm. uh, be exciting to see what names are, are in the hat. Yeah. Uh, like I've been looking, I mean, I'm probably a fool for doing it anyway, looking on betting websites <laughs> and seeing who's going to be it because it's, <laughs> it seems to be a rank outside of what comes in. But I'm thinking with last couple uh, appointments, what's happened, obviously it's not worked well at club and back for him. I'm thinking that this time round it's going to be, I, I think, my own opinion, I don't know about you, Chris, I think this summer is going to be one of the most crucial, critical ones we've had for quite a while because there's a lot of things to get right uh, as regards the manager coming in or head coach, what we want to call him, that manager. And then, like I said, there's going to be an eye turn of a replace coming in and coming out. And I don't want to be going into, like, say, League One or pre-season, still playing catch-up kind of thing, you know what I mean? Yeah, or Cali, no doubt, has got his hands full this season. Mm. Uh, he's, he's going to earn his money this summer. That yeah. is for sure. There's some massive decisions to be made. Yeah. Um, you know, and if we get 80% of them right, 90% of that right, we'll, we'll be at right end at table, um, you know, in a year's time, hopefully. 
Uh, but yeah, some massive decisions. I know uh, Nareev came out with a statement yesterday. Um, he won more or less, not holding his hands up, but it was like saying he's understood where it's come from and he appreciates fans that's already got season tickets. And they've also, again, extended season ticket until end of May, which I'm thinking, you know, they're wanting to be back, see his actions, what we're going to do. And I'm thinking if they're willing to do that, they've got to be really, really buying into what fan base is all about like now. Some of what I think were like lacking under the Conway Lee era kind of thing. The, it was sent to like be a bit distant. Yeah, you're right. It's about relatability, isn't it? And can mm. we relate to that person? And, you know, it, it's our club and it's everybody's club and we're all entitled to our own opinions and our own feelings and that's fine. We don't have to abuse each other. We can mm. agree to a disagree and all of that stuff. Yeah. Uh, but being passionate is a must. Uh, and we, yes, we want them to get their decisions right, but is that person relatable? And are, we, are they communicating with us if we'd like to be communicated as often as we'd like to be communicated? And again, that's to everybody's different taste. I prefer less communication, more action, more results, more three points than, than communication. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Some people want communication or more communication. That's, you know, whatever. They're always entitled to their own opinion. But I guess it's just about getting it right at all different levels and aspects of that club. Uh, and, and you know the email that went out yesterday, or the communication that went. I got an email, but I know it went out. I think it went out on uh, social media and stuff as well. Mm. Um, I think it went down really well. Uh, appeared to be saying all the right things, which is brilliant. Uh, no doubt that you know they followed through immediately with the season, extending the season ticket, which is good. So mm. people can people can renew if that's what they want to do. Um, so yeah, action. I'm an actions man, and I think you know it's a it's a, it's a really positive start. To, mm. to, well, it's been a positive week as a Barnsley fan, I'd say. Yeah. Um, I, and just from, I mean, I'm, I'm quite a positive person anyway. Uh, I try and take positives out of it because that's just how I am. Mm. Uh, and actually, I've found myself being much more luckier in life by being positive and not berating people and actually just trying to put a positive spin on stuff. Um, but for some people, it's, it's impacted a lot for them this week. Mm. And I'm glad. I'm glad. You know, if that means that somebody's going to renew a season ticket, that means somebody's going to gamble again on Barnsley next season and yeah. uh, come in good and, you know, they're going to take their, young, their, their, their child to, to hope one next season. That's brilliant for me. You know, I, I want as many people there as possible to share that experience. Hopefully it'll be a much... It can't be any worse, but that way, <laughs> much more positive experience next next year and a much more positive season. So, Well, yeah. I've been checking my phone all the time <laughs> and I, I see, you know, and I'm coming down, I'm working in Newcastle, I'm travelling down and my son texts me and I'm like, no, nah, it's a wind up or something because we're like on Friday at 13th. I'm like, nah, nah. Anyway, when I looked, I'm like, yeah, do you know what? And things started reading into it. I'm like, yeah, yeah. And it, I, for me, I just saw that Conway and Lee go and I just felt, I just felt like so different. And I, I didn't even read into it. You know, I didn't even know what were happening with regards to Bodge reshuffle. But we, I think what's wanting like now is like what you've, what you've touched on here as well, Chris, is like, they're coming out with good things and that, but you you, you, you want to like see actions are always louder than words, aren't they? And it's like yeah. what you say, let, let that action get in place, let them get the manager, let them get the player recruitment rate. Let them, and I, I, we've been there with questions with the um, CEO up at Legend Suite about a month ago. And yeah. full respect to Khalid because he has pretty soon like more or less firing line, and you know, he has answered uh, questions, probably tougher questions than what he should have done. and. Yeah. I'm thinking if he can get backed now with this board backing behind him, I think we could see these things come to light and fruition. I agree. I agree. I, I think Carl has been in a difficult position. He's hard in it for us uh, Nick, yeah. to, to suggest what may or may not be happening above, below Carl because we're not there, are we? Not in no, no, no. Um, and Carl comes across really well, as people have mentioned on Twitter and as people have berated people that have mentioned that. On yeah, Twitter. yeah. Um, Khaled's come across really well, and that's that's really good, isn't it? Yeah. Um, and I, you know, I come across really well, but that doesn't mean I'm good at my job. Uh, but I think I really trust Khaled to get it right, and he's mm. he's a really busy man. It's a big summer for him. Like we've got lots of decisions to be made, and there's been decisions that have happened above him now. Um, and it'd be interesting to see what part he'll play in that recruitment of mm. um, the manager, um, and obviously the players, because uh, it's going to be a a lot of shuffling, I think, a lot of shuffling of the deck. Yeah, yeah, I think it's going to be that as well. Uh, do you think, like what you were on about, be it's going to be a bit of reshuffling about? Because he did say in that meeting as well, he said that everybody's under review, we're going to review where the season went wrong. And it's not just for players, you're on about everybody, we're on about battle staff and everybody. 
Um, but do you think with this change of, I won't say ownership as such, because it's under EFL, EFL approval, but with change of board members on, do you think it could be a bit of change in direction at players that might be going or staying, do you think? Oh, I see what you're saying. Oh, so you think you're wondering if the upset of the apple cart this week mm. may have changed what what would have happened? Yeah, I, yeah. Oh my goodness, uh, it's a tough one. That I, I guess to change what might have happened, I get what I, we have to go back to last, to last summer, don't we? Mm. And we think, you know, it appears that, you know, in terms of decisions and what happened off the pitch, players that we brought in, mm. it appears one man has taken all the blame for that. Yeah, uh, and we don't know if he made all them decisions. You know, we're led to believe he made all them decisions. He ain't going to be taking blame this summer, is he? Exactly. He's not going to yeah. be there. Um, mm. So that one, would he have participated more this summer? Possibly mm. on on in, in goings and out ruins. Um, I'd like to think that in terms of our recruit players or what kind of players we sign, that again, as you mentioned, is scrutinised or I don't know what word you use there or what word Khaled used, mm. uh, but basically, you know, reviewing it. Yeah, and deciding is that actually going to work? I, you know, you look at some of the signings in the past two, three years, they've worked, they've been brilliant mm. signings from uh, you know, open quotation marks to the spreadsheet. Uh, they've worked, haven't they? But it's about blending that, isn't it? And getting those mixed signings, you know, what is the spreadsheet? And actually, how do we win games of football? Um, and is, is that an experienced player? Uh, and we're not talking experienced 50 plus games at league football. I'm mm. talking, do you need the now sort of a 29, 30-year-old? You know, what have we got? You know, we've got Collie Woodrow, who's actually really experienced at, at this level. He's yeah. done it before at this level. Uh, a proven goal scorer at this level. Can we keep him? You know, it, would that be cost as experience? I would say it would. Mm. Uh, but, you know, you're right. I think there's there's so many ifs, buts and maybes. But um, I'm hoping that everything will be reviewed and whatever comes out of that. Well, you know, any any walk of line, Neil, any, 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 any line of work, if something's not quite working at that place of work, you've got to look at it and, you know, why is it not working? And then you, you address those things. The issue you've got in football is, you know, when, when I make a mistake at work, I don't quite get something right and I take that time to review or I review it with my line manager. And there's not, you know, there's not there's not 5,000 people calling out yeah. on Twitter asking me to hurry up about it. That's the, that's the yeah, difference. That's big difference it? It, yeah, that's big to communicate that, you know. <laughs> uh, so it, it's difficult. Not very easy patient, are they? So, um... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, very true, that. Very true. It's like, like you just said, be in any walk of life. I mean, in my business as well is if you, if you, if you're not performing right, you'll probably get pulled up with your management and they'll have a word with you and say, look, I think you should be doing this or you should be doing that. So, and that's what you need, kind of thing. Uh, a good call out with sitting all about leaders. I think you need that kind of leader and character. Uh, probably in a manager as well as a on, on, on pitch as well, because uh, I look at some players and I've been left scratching my head. It's like Styles and Britain. And not, I'm just single them to out, but then one of the most last season, Ishmael got them bouncing. People gone playing, and then you look at like two previous coaches who were very after, and it's like they haven't really moved on from there. So you want him back as a manager to like try and help and improve a player, not just physically but mentally as well, because it's going to take. You know, we've gone down. Players are going to be feeling, you know, deflated, ejected, and sometimes you could see it on pitch. And it's like what uh, Cleve was saying in there is that everybody's getting reviewed, you know. And it's, I suppose, it's like it's not like singling people out, single in certain areas, but it's a collective as well. And I think that's what needs to be done. Is like not just like single X amount of players out. It's like look, as a group, we've all played as part, and this is where we've gone wrong, and. I'm hoping that it's like a constructive criticism rather than like you've like you've said it's like cabrating singling players out because mm. I think if you start doing that it gets a bit nasty and it splits and divides and that's what you don't want to see. So, like you said, Via Woodrow would it be class for me? I, I think it'd be class as one at senior players there, but obviously 27, 28, something like that. And then when you look underneath that, it is like going down into like your 25, 24s, and then your young kids what have come through. But I'd still like to see such as like your Aidan Marshes and your Winfield, who's obviously injured, come through as well to uh, that mixture, I think, uh, Chris. Yeah, well, when we were in League One before, you look at that squad and everybody talks about how good that team were. It was supplemented by young players. Mm. Some of them young players went on to be in his first 11. You know, Jacob yeah. Brown started that season as a supplement. You know, he wasn't, they weren't, weren't playing week in, week out. Mm. At the times, they weren't in the first team, you know, and he was supplemented and he were on bench and he were playing here and there. And then, Obviously, we sold pots, didn't we? And that got, got him his big break. Yeah. Uh, so I think at League One level, you can't have 
you, well, you're not going to have, it's not impossible logistically or financially to have 17 players that are all going to play every game mm. uh, and they're all on five grand a week or whatever. You know, it's not, yeah. it's not so you're going to need different, different horses for courses. You're going to need different bit part players. And everybody needs to play that role at that level, and that's that. That's just not on the pitch. That's that you mentioned earlier. That's that's all over the club. Mm. You know, the minute we start berating people, we're not getting best out of them. You know, Ishmael rinsed 150 percent out of your players like Styles um, and Britain. Mm. You know, the other, you know, the other two managers you could argue didn't. But I think when you're when you're when we're working at Barnsley or when you're playing at Barnsley, um, you think about. The teams that were surrounded by, and I'm not going to mention them because I don't want to be ill. Um, <laughs> geographically, you know, yeah. you think about catchment area, and size of that that city, you know, and, and the finances that 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 are implicated by mm. that. You can kind of get away with eighty percent and ninety percent, and people not quite pulling the weight here and there because at that level and that amount of money you're spending, mm. you know, you, you're gonna you're gonna have enough. when you when you're at Barnsley. I'm not going to say we're a small club because we're not. We're a wonderful town, you know. The town centre, actually, town, Barnsley Town Centre. I'll not yeah. have anybody say all bad about it. It's no. a beautiful place, yeah. Um, and it's a town that's on the up. But to, getting invested in it, absolutely. But in terms of getting the best out <clears> of what we've got, everybody's going to be working at hundred percent, and they've got to mean it and got to mm. want it, and that's at all levels. Uh, mm. and, and and I see that. I think I see that. Um, I see that from Cali. And I think that that will resonate into other staff, and it's about getting that coaching staff right, isn't it? And that resonating through that as well, mm. uh, you know. And I think Martin Devaney were a massive step of that, you know. He encapsulates everything what Barnsley is about, um, you know. He's not he's not from Barnsley, but he's pretty much adopted Barnsley. Yeah, yeah. Um, and it's just about rinsing every little percentage out of what we've got, and I think it's about appreciating what we've got as well, Neil. And I see a lot mm. of people, fans, I get a loosely use the word loosely. <coughs> fans berating fans like, or belittling we belittle ourselves and that's mm. weird I find that strange mm. like because it, it, it all becomes what you want it to be if we start all saying that we live in this wonderful town and you know this football club's brilliant and yeah we might have made some bad mistakes and we might have made a few bad signings and somebody might have dropped a clanger with a, a bad coach or whatever we've lost a few games but we love it we love his team and we love his ground and we love us we love sitting at West Ham and we love sitting at Ponty you mm. know, and we like us food, and we like us concourse or whatever. I know it's not all right just yet. Well, I hope no, we get no. it right. Uh, or we like us, we like us fan zone, and you know we like going to town centre before game, and oh, you know it's fans, and this is what we are, and you know that's good enough. Like, and uh, this berating, as though we, you know, we, we belittle ourselves, and it really annoys me because it's like, what, why, what, what are we trying to achieve? You know, I don't understand mm. it. Like, what are we trying? We're trying to achieve ten likes on Twitter or something like. Putting down his own team, it just doesn't make any sense. Yeah, if we're all yeah. together, if we're all on this journey together, and we all appreciate Barnsley for what it were. The journey would be much more enjoyable, and we might actually go further. Yeah, but all that saying it, it's like getting back positive vibe in there, getting back self belief, and and if we're doing well, it breeds confidence, and you discover it. And it's like there's no, I said no pressure, but there's a different kind of pressure on you. And I think in what you've just said there with Martin Devaney. It was like second domes Barnsley, and I, again another good call by Khalid when it, it said up in that meeting, it was his decision to like get integrating with under twenty threes. He knows the under twenty threes who can come in and do a job. And I'm thinking, and another point where I, I also liked as well, which will like kind of lead us on to his, his like last and final segment is he like Khalid. He Khalid always looked back and I said, well, why for the last three years have we always started poorly? We should be addressing that and. For me, I'll, I'll fire this back at you. It might be a bit of an unfair question, to be honest, but uh, it all depends what kind we're going to have a summer. But where do you see us in league next season? Do you think League One next season is going to be um, not a rebuild job, but a, a, a re regelling it group and team and solid solidate them and push for promotion next season? A top half, I think, is a minimum. Mm. Top half's a minimum, and there's there is a lot of rebuilding to do, and there's there's arguably going to be a big turnover of personnel again. Mm. Um, and top half's a minimum, but I think once we get the coach, I think that'll be a flag in the ground, depending on what that looks like. Yeah. So it looks like Martin is going to stay involved in first team. Whether he gets that job, I'm I'm not so sure. Mm. I have no idea. Um, I know you mentioned Bucky's early. He's pretty much up there all in every. Yeah, yeah, he's been, yeah. 
I don't um, think he's been out at top three, has he? <laughs> yeah, and I, you know he's a, he had a difficult deal, you know, back end of the season, and, mm-hmm. and you know he, he obviously put in there to try and stabilise ship and mm-hmm. you know hold back the the water a little bit. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's got to be right for Martin as well. Everybody talks about you know does Martin, Martin might not want it, you yeah. know, Matt, you know, is it right to, for Martin to to step into that position if it's not quite quite what he needs it to be at that time? You know, mm-hmm. you know, are we going to see a, a progression of are we going to see an experienced manager be brought in yeah. um, and then a progression to Mar- Martin when it's time? You yeah. know what I mean? Are we going to see, you know, someone like Neil Warnock or Mick McCart and X Red come in? Uh, and and jo- I, don't, I have no idea. Mm. You know, we could, we could uh, your guess is as good as mine. Uh, you know, are we going to see an homegrown, an homegrown manager? We talk about, I, I see a lot on, on Twitter about um, English managers or managers from UK. Don't matter to me where they're from, Neil. I, I couldn't care less. I want a winning manager, you know. I want a, a manager, manager that's going to win his yeah. games. Nationality, not part of remit for me. Best man for a job. Uh, <laughs> and, what that, and what that job is now, I don't know. What you yeah. know is it? Is it to reset and rebuild, and then we go again next? You know, the season after, mm-hmm. uh, and anything else is a bonus, or is it right? This is it. We've got to go straight back up. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Good. I'm not in. Uh, I'm not in that shoes. It's a. Uh, I'm glad it's not my job, really. Yeah. <laughs> It's a good point what you said. <laughs> it's a good point what you said, V. Like you said, is that what what is the remit going to be? Is it going to be right? You've, you're in for a couple of years. We're looking next year to rebuild and you know get mid table top top half better. And then what we're looking from progression is from V. We're in. So like you said, I think yeah, on a good one, V. Is that you want to win a manager? You want someone what's going to come in with? I'd like to see stamp his not authority, probably to well stamp his identity, his own his own imprint on club and say, look, right, players, this is what we're going to be doing. This so not only does the manager know, the players know, and us as fans can see it and we can buy into it as well. And I think once that happens, if we lose a game and you know, but we've lost it and we've actually given his all, I think that's what you know, us as fans we can appreciate that. But it's like when you see back and you're thinking, this why is this player not doing this and might and that's when you can see that bit of unrest, you know. It's like, well, come on, but you know, we, weird choices kind of thing. But I'm thinking, if a strong enough manager comes in, like you said, and Devaney or Thomas Arben as well is still involved in the first team, you can see him buying into that in, in the community, into that kind of belief. Because I've, I've, I want speaking on me, but all we want to see is like people from Barnsley, like we're honest to Brad working. We just want, you know, we just want to be our club, you know, and everybody yeah. be as one. And no fans like being distanced away from their own, you know. I want Conway in my heart. I'm not buying this ticket for this. Or I don't want to see that. I want all fans to come together as, and yeah. unite as one. And like I said, back, back, all, all bouncing again. Yeah, unity is massive, and mm. it? it's massive for, uh, and it just makes it much nicer, pleasurable place to go on a Saturday, doesn't it? And nobody mm. wants to go here. Crowds divided, and mm. you know, there's booze and stuff like that. We want to see, we want to see, you know, want to see good football on pitch, but we want, we want to enjoy it all together, don't we? Yeah. Um, you know, and critics will be critics, Neil. You know, I've never understood critics because majority have never even done it. Uh, so you know, it's all right for us to criticise and it's all right for us to have opinions. And sometimes, I'd, sometimes I think people have good, good thoughts and good opinions, but put it across badly. Mm. Um, and make it personal or, or they don't quite understand or articulate what they're trying to say. Um, do, do you know what I mean? And, and yeah. I think, I think when it starts going down like that and starts getting personal and stuff, it's like, mm, it's more of a, a personal opinion rather than as a collective, rather than yeah. a, I mean, like I've, like I've always said, is like everybody's a title of the opinion and I had one on the live a couple of, I said a couple of weeks ago, be a month or two ago, and someone brought up in the back of the AR and I said, and on that, I'm not for the uh, championship because I know it's a watered down version of so having issues with it. And it like some some people going, Oh, you want this stand referees, absolutely. I'm like, it's all about opinions. It, what I what I say don't mean to say that you were right or wrong. No, it's opinions, but don't make it a personal attack at someone. If everybody had the same opinion, then life would be boring, wouldn't it? But yeah, be it's being respectful. Boring. It's being respectful, no, right. isn't it? No, you're very right. It's a great, it's a great point. You met Neil, um, you know, and, and I think a lot of people that are really positive around club or you know, such as yourself and such as me that that, that try really hard to keep everybody going and, and really, mm. you know, really you sacrifice a lot of time uh, 
for this and you know you really care about club and I get a lot up to try and you know attend fan zone or I mm. do pitch side stuff or whatever you know there's no privileges with that Neil other than you know I don't get a free season ticket I don't I don't get four to any better you do it because you love it don't you I do it because yeah. I love it and I want to be amongst Farnsley fans you know I like I like to, I went to the um I went to the uh, the fans versus uh, legends. Uh, you know they had, they had mixed teams, four teams, mixed fans and le- legends over Sunday. Um, and and for that media as well, I saw you at yeah, media, and the media you know, game Monday. as yeah, well. Yeah, and yeah. I filled in for Jason, Jason as, as uh, stadium announcer, and I loved it. You know, I always didn't dream like at stadium mm. announcer, like, even though there's only three hundred. It don't matter. It don't matter, I'm, does it? I'm buzzing, but I got to chat to. I reckon I chatted to hundred and uh, over hundred Barnsley fans. They wanted to chat to me. They wanted to yeah. talk, and I wanted to chat to them. I wanted to talk about Barnsley. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Bad, good, bad, ugly, whatever. I talk about Barnsley, uh, and, and that's what I'm about. You know, that that's my privilege. That's the privilege I get. I get to meet new people, and mm. you know, I, I enjoy. It. I've got a really intense job, so when it comes to weekend, I want to put all that behind me and 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 be engrossed in something else entirely. Mm. Um, you know, I, and again, you know, that's up to you for staying positive when you can. Uh, and it's difficult. It's always, you know, some people don't want to, some people are entitled to their own opinion, but mm. just about weighing it up, isn't it? And there's nothing yeah. wrong with being negative, but it can't be nonsensical. We've got to try and back it up with something. Yeah. You know, otherwise, what, what are you saying? You just, you just, it feels like it you're just shouting fails, it? nothing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, it's been like, like in our season and, you know, since I took over at Channel and back, uh, and you do try and find positives and stuff like that. And sometimes you've got to say, say things. What you think, oh, I wish I weren't saying this, but you're having to say it. But then you think, right, come on, let's move on. There's got to be some kind of light to end the tunnel. And I think now we've got, as, as this chink of light now, with what's happened in the last couple of days, all being well now, this is start of things to come and come better and come back to the bounds of what me and you want. We want, we want all well to be buzzing. We want the town centre to be buzzing. Because, no, you know, it, there's nothing no better than when I walk away with my son uh, every game. And I'm walking to car with him and rather than say, oh, another loss. Oh, why did you do this? Or why did you do that? It'd be great to be walking away and saying, well, do you see what a right goal that one? It's that togetherness and you take it own way, don't you? You know, and that's what we want to fetch back. That's what we want to fetch back. No, you're right. You're right. I'm all fetch it back together. You know, mm. ultimately decisions need to be made at an higher level, which yeah. some has been made. Decisions have been made. Mm. Um, and then obviously it's about getting the coaches number one party now, isn't it? Uh, and mm-hmm. then and then recruitment and what that might look like and ins and outs yeah. and relying on that spreadsheet because it's worked in the past mm-hmm. and it just needs to be supplemented by whatever the processes have come out of that review that Khalid talked about. Yeah, you know, everything's under scrutiny, everything's under review. Yeah. But what 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 has changed a little bit? I don't want to know. I don't want to. No, no, that's of, for I don't them. need yeah, another yeah. press release. No, get some points in bag. You know that'll yeah. do me. Do you know? What Let's I mean? see that player on pitch with wear shirt on, holding it up, saying, "Here I am, I'm all right. Yeah, do you know what? You'll go for me." Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> don't give away too many secrets. <laughs> 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 well, Chris, I really appreciate it. Oh, you can get out. Can get your own uh, more often and get get your own thoughts and views. I really appreciate you taking your time out as well, Chris. Appreciate it. No, no worries, no. Thank you very much for having me. Um, no, not really watched lots of tight TV before, so you, so you, so you took over it effectively. And then obviously I met you, met you over there at, at, yeah. um, at the uh, the match between staff and uh, media. I thought I did a good job, the captain Neil. I thought I did all right. Yeah, you did all right. I right. <laughs> oh, footage was all right when I got you. Uh, oh sub- yeah, I got me sub- <laughs> yeah, you got me sub- on. So no, I got to, back. Lovely. It was lovely to meet you. Uh, thanks for having me on. No Let problem. Let me know. Just yeah, just message me again, and I'll, I'll be here to talk Barnsley. I love it. I'm mad for it. So uh, fingers it, crossed. Another big week as a red. Have week. you got any? Have you got any guests as a manager or? Um, like you said, or... I just want to manage what's going to come in and is going to be allowed to do his own kind of play. And like you said, winning manager. I think it's going to be. I think what we've had in, in last two. I'm wanting to see a manager what can come in and put his own authority on the game and to improve players what we've got there. Because I think if he can improve players what we've got, because we've got some young talent there, with Martin Devaney and get Martin Devaney involved, I'm hoping that Martin Devaney, like you said a bit earlier, can like learn off him as well, like a bit yeah. of a mentor. And then, you know, if if I see on bench like a manager with like a good set, first, um, I can say first team setup behind him, I'm like, do you know what? 
players are going to be buying into that because you're going to be seeing a manager at side that's going to be full of passion. It's like, I'm going to have some of that and all. I want to get my all. So it, it, and then your players play well. Us as fans, we all get up for it. So it, like, it all starts, it's like a knock on effect, isn't it? All Absolutely. a knock on effect. Knock Absolutely. On effect. I'm not really Martin, are you, Eve? I mean, this, this nonsense that he's not done a good job because we're, you know, we're second, uh, we're 12th or 13th in, in under 23 division. That's not what under 23 division's about. It's about developing players developing, yeah. to supplement the squad or potentially be first teamers, Matty Wool. Do you know what I mean? And yeah, I, yeah. He's done that job, Annie Martin has done that job, you know, to a key. He's supplemented mm-hmm. that squad wonderfully. There's some great talent coming through. It's not about winning, the, you know, people forget Victor's had a lot of games in under 23s as well. Mm-hmm. So, you know. Then you've got forget. like Stra. I mean, he came on. I mean, I thought he, he played well when he, he started uh, Jason Stra at back, mm-hmm. you know. So there's been. I think it's been a good call by Khalid getting him involved in first team. And I think we him knowing them players, like I said, it's about developing them players and identifying them. And if if it is that Martin Devaney is named as manager, I'm sure a lot of Barnsley fans will be backing him, but they'll be you'll get the odd one or two like, well, we need this and we needed that and blah blah blah. But what's saying that if he's allowed to do what he's got to do and bring in personnel that he wants to do. Who knows? We might move on. We, we might see it and said, "You know what? Leave, leave, lad to it." Yeah, football's brilliant, isn't it? Because you win a few games and then everything else goes out of window. Yeah, can't be bothered. No, that's right. <laughs> that's right. But when lose a few, then everybody's like, "Oh, you should have done this." Hindsight's a great thing, isn't it? <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. You're right, bud. You're right. <laughs> Right, Chris, I've really appreciated it. Everybody what's been watching, if you please leave your comments below, because we've had some good debates about, you know, direction we're going to be going. And like we've always said, just everybody's got a different opinion. Everybody's got a comment, but just keep them respectful. And then I, I will answer them all back and I'll be welcome to get Chris on again. And one thing left to say, everybody watching, thanks for watching uh, you Reds. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.